An arrest has been made in a first degree attempted murder case in Eva Beach. 30 year old Kei Kainoa Ikalai Makua is in police custody after two women were stabbed. Now, this happened on Saturday afternoon in the area of Mokupea Place. The 62 and 35 year old victims were both seriously injured and taken to the hospital for treatment. Makua was arrested at the scene. A possible motive has not been released. A 28-year-old man is recovering in the hospital after a hit-and-run crash in the university area. HPD said that he was in a marked crosswalk while he was walking on South King Street around 7.30 last night near Kahuna Lane. Now, he was hit, and the driver fled the scene without helping. Police later found the car parked nearby, but the driver had already left. At last check, the victim is in serious condition at the hospital. A man suffered critical injuries after crashing his motorcycle into a couple of parked vehicles in the Kailua area. It happened just before 3 yesterday afternoon on Hamakua Drive. HPD says that the 51-year-old first sideswiped a parked car before rear-ending another. He was not wearing a helmet and he was taken to the hospital. Now, police don't believe he was intoxicated, but they do see that speed may have played a factor in this. Another motorcyclist also in the hospital after an apparent incident of road rage. It happened at the intersection of Nu'uanu Avenue and School Street around 9.30 Saturday morning. Witnesses say that a driver intentionally crashed into the motorcyclist, causing him to fall onto the road. Law enforcement sources say that suspect reversed and then used his vehicle to plow into the bike, launching it approximately 40 feet. The suspect then allegedly made a U-turn in an attempt to run down the victim. The suspect then drove off. HPD has opened an attempted murder investigation. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency says that at least eight of the sirens are currently not working. So officials are exploring ways in order to protect those sirens, including moving the control boxes, which contain a lot of the sought after components farther up the poles. So we're in for a beautiful stretch of weather with those light winds. It's going to be a little bit humid from time to time. A trade wind breeze not expected back until maybe Thursday. So during this time frame until Wednesday, we'll get those uh, afternoon spotty showers with high humidity levels. Uh, but otherwise, still lots of sunshine. It's going to be pretty, pretty nice. And then the weather changes as the cold front drops in. We could see a few more windward and mountain showers between Thursday and Friday. Keep your fingers crossed because like you saw, we could use whatever rain we could get, even if it comes in through those leeward areas and those soft wind speeds will continue for the rest of the week. See it now. Digital News Brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.